So what it says like, uh, so let's take a best example. And I'll go for next page. Let's take a pipe. Okay, there's a pipe uh, radius. Let me write R1. Here the radius of this is R2. The liquid is flowing. So what we say the liquid incompressible. Incompressible means what happened? Density remains same or the volume of the liquid remains same that one. Incompressible means the density of the fluid remains same. So when the liquid is moving here, it will have a speed V1. When it passes through this point, we'll have a speed V2. How come the speed has changed? Who, who has did work? So these are some questions that we have to ask ourselves. Uh, everything inside, there's the liquid. Huh? The liquid is in motion. So what is the speed of the liquid at, at the broader side end of the pipe? V1. And definitely, and at na 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 narrow end, the speed of the liquid is V2. I'll practically, I'll go and check it. What I see that V2 greater than V1. What we notice is V2 greater than V1. We have to give some explanation. So what is it uh, mass of the liquid? So let me assume certain. Elemental volume of the liquid. Okay, same this elemental volume of liquid, when, when it arrives here, will, will become this much. Because the overall volume has to remain same. Because why volume should remain same? Because we assumed it to be incompressible. We assumed it to be incompressible. Yeah, that's the basic idea. So now this is delta x1. This is delta x2. Uh, the what is the density of liquid at one? So there's a point one. There's a point two. Now what is the density of liquid as it is incompressible? Rho one must be equal to rho two. So the density of liquid will not change as it moves from one point to another point. There's a theoretical imagination, but practical what will happen? The liquid is compressible. The density will change. Now I am making things clear. What is the na natural property of liquid? Compressible but we are making it incompressible so that we can solve problems very easily. As it is incompressible, so therefore, I'll assume it. So we know mass of the liquid should be considered M1 should be equal to M2. What amount of liquid at one is there? The same amount of liquid should be there at two. How you define uh, the mass density into volume by R1 square delta X1 rho two by R, R2 square delta X2. Now look at this, as we made it incompressible. See, mass has to be conserved. There no other way. Mass has to be conserved. Practically what happened, the liquid is compressible. Then density at one and two will be different, but we are making it as incompressible. So therefore the density remains same. So therefore uh, this rho one is equal to keep it as it is pi r2 square delta x2. Rho gets eliminated. So pi r1 square. Uh, the, let this be the area of cross section a1. Area of cross section here, let it be a2 of the pipe. Delta x1, this is delta x2. <clears throat> now, 
delta x to this one. So now, now the liquid will take some time now to cross through that edge. So a one v one equal to a two v two. This is called like a equation of the continuity. Okay, let's see from uh, the data r two less than r one. Will I agree? If r two less than r one, then a two should be less than a one. So therefore, v two should be greater than v one. So what happened to speed of the liquid at point two? It will be greater than that of speed of liquid at point one. This is the basic equation of continuity. Okay, now look at this. Uh, what happened? The kinetic energy, kinetic energy at two greater than kinetic energy at one. And what about one and two? They are on same horizontal level. <coughs> Then energy must be conserved. We know enough of mechanics, no? The mechanical energy must be conserved. The potent gravitational potential energy of the liquid. Just wait. I'll save it. And the gravitational potential of liquid because one nine two are on same level, so u one two equal to u two one nine points. Point one nine two are on same level, so therefore gravitational potential same. Can the energy got increased? No. How it has increased? Some volume of liquid. Are you seeing the green color? Some volume of liquid. The kinetic energy got increased. Who has increased? Somebody should be there. Yes. Some other energy or something should decrease. What is some other energy? The pressure energy. How do we can say pressure at one? What is the pressure at one? Rho g r one. Pressure at two. Rho g r two. So we know that r two less than r one. So p two less than p one. So therefore, as the liquid moves from one to two. The gravitational potential g per unit volume remains same. Clear this. The pressure energy decreases. <coughs> the decrease in pressure energy, what happen will be converted into increase in kinetic energy. But overall energy of the liquid will remain same. So what is the conclusion? I'll make it as the liquid. Moves from. And the liquid moves from point one to point two. The pressure the pressure energy decreases, and kinetic energy increases. But the total mechanical energy remains constant. Overall mechanical energy remains constant. Is telling. So overall mechanical energy remains constant is called like a Bernoulli's theorem. From equation of continuous product, I think this will be very widely will be using the equation one, which I'll be using everywhere. So next, what we say is Bernoulli's theorem. So what Bernoulli's theorem says that the total mechanical energy of liquid of the liquid between two points remains constant, or the total mechanical energy of liquid is conserved. That one. Okay, just do make observation. So this is about the. I think your theory got over. <laughs> If I write Bernoulli's theorem statement, no. So your overall theory of this week's syllabus got over. The next, what all we do is all the next application. What all we do is, is everything is an application. Now what will happen to pressure along the length of the tube? 